As they embrace the next milestone, David Coleman catches up with the kids and families taking part in 21st Century Child tonight at 10.15 here on RTE1. But now, Daniel and Lauren's relationship is going nowhere in Shortland Street. Me and Tanya, well, I think she's pretty special. You mean you did last night? I'm not like that. Oh, come off it, Isaac. This is me you're talking to. You mean Rachel's an ex-girlfriend too? What a hypocrite. I don't change girlfriends like I change my sheets. In fact, I'm nothing like you, and you know what? I'd never want to be either. I need you to be completely honest with me. Mm, okay. <laughs> Would you describe me as arrogant? Arrogant? Well, you're a surgeon. That's a prerequisite, isn't it? And you're by no means the worst, trust me. Why? Who's been calling you names? Isaac. Oh, a lowly registrar. That's brave of him. I offered my advice the benefit of my experience, and what happens, it gets thrown back in my face with a character assassination thrown in for good measure. What? This isn't familiar at all? Clearly not. Wasn't this the problem with Gabrielle, you telling her what to do and how to think? Maybe Isaac doesn't appreciate the whole headmaster routine either. Oh, great. I really have turned into my father. Yet another crazy roller coaster ride comes to an end. Please, nurse, I beg you to control your excitement. May we stand down? Of course, run away, be free. Not you, Nurse Jeffries. I plan to give you a sound talking to. Your tomfoolery, Dr. Worthington, is entirely inappropriate. Sense of humor, please, Stat. He does have a point. You've been hyper all shift. Well, my numbing boredom usually has that effect. Chris and I had a run-in. Oh, and the truth comes out. Well, it doesn't excuse old Twilight features, though. The guy's got it in for me, I swear. He's a little sensitive where I'm concerned. He has a bit of a crush. Oh, who would have thought? <laughs> so, are we hooking up tonight? I don't know yet. Have you got something else on? Vague plan. Just in case there's any confusion, I'm Chris's cousin, not his identical twin. You're looking at a one-woman man. Bet you say that to all the girls. Come on, put me out of my misery. OK, OK. We'll hang out. OK, so I'm getting pasta and olive oil and... Uh, light bulbs, uh, screw in ones. OK, got it. Back in a sec. Do you have any cash? Sure. Uh, how much? Um, 20 seats. Uh, there you go. You can buy us some of that flash ice cream or something. Hmm, OK, if you insist. She was all over you. I I'm sorry, Ben. I understand it's your character's flirting. I understand that it's all for show. But it bothered me. I must be better actor than you thought, eh? Are you having a go at me? No. Look, we both know I'm no great shakes, and well, you couldn't help me, and Ruben's next to useless. At least with Jewel, I'm getting somewhere. You're right. It's the stupid redundancy. It's got me so wound up. Just relax, OK? You've got nothing to worry about on either front. You sucked or are you safe? About what? The gig, you know. That's the night. Whoops. Well, how could you forget? We've had the tickets for ages. I promised I'd rehearse with Gerald. So cancel. I can't. Why not? This is way more important. I made a commitment to the production, and rehearsing with Gerald is part of that. Well, what about your commitment to me? Look, 
we're mates and we've planned this and we were looking forward to it. So. There'll be other cakes. Why are you being so snarky? Everything is about you, isn't it? About what you want and when you want it. What about what I want, Lauren? What's eating you? Lauren and I are probably going to break up. Not that we're ever properly going out anyway. Yeah, what's the story? We hang out together heaps. She's like my best friend. And I thought she wanted more, like I do. <laughs> but the stupid place, she puts it above everything else. What's the point if she spends more time with Gerald than she does with me? OK, you're jealous of an asexual in an Oscar Wilde play. No, I'm sick of running around after her making a dick of myself. I bought these tickets to a gig ages ago. We were both looking forward to it heaps. She didn't even bother to tell me that she couldn't go. Well, maybe she forgot. Nah, it's not that. Truth is, I don't think she's into it. Another one who's not into it. Well, you have this, I don't want it. Freeman, I can't take your call, so leave a message and I'll call you right back. Hey, it's me. <laughs> uh, I guess you're with your mum. Uh, well, I hope she's doing okay. Um, I was just wondering how you're doing and um, when you might be back. No pressure. <laughs> All right, give me a call soon. Okay? Bye. Could you wait for me till I was 35? Of course I could, Cicely. You know I could. Yes, I felt it instinctively then. Yes, I felt it instinctively, but I... Sorry. Daniel wound me up earlier. I'm still really mad at him. Well, you know what they say. The show must go on. Maxwell. Hey. Can I get you? Uh, cake. Uh, that one. Uh, three slices. Ta. Cake is really seen in the best houses nowadays. Hey. It's from the play. Ask me to remember my own lines, however. Enjoying it, though? I hate to admit it. Yes. More fun than hanging out with Daniel, maybe? What? What is that supposed to mean? OK, this is none of my business, and I understand that. But Daniel's really suffering right now. If you're going to dump him, get it over and done with, you could do without the messing about. Dump him. He's a good kid. Take it easy on Tab, thanks. Mm, that last one was a draw. Mm, perfect result. Mm, two in a row, we could be made for each other. Mm. Aren't you going to get that? Nope. It could be the hospital. Ah, it's the matriarch. I'll call her tomorrow. Mum's doing call late without a reason. It's yours. Mine, mine calls whenever she likes. Go on, get Hey, Mum. Yeah, all settled in. <laughs> yeah, like a horse. Uh, Mum, I've kind of got my hands full right now. Yeah. Oh, what, I, I could be here all night. How about I call you tomorrow, OK? Yeah. I love you too. OK. What? You're a mummy's boy. I am not. Oh, so? You can't be questioning my virility. Oh, no, no worries there. Oh, I feel a defensive now. I'll have to prove it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's lovely. I barely started. No, I mean, it's sweet. You're close to your mum. New rule. No mothers in the bedroom. in a row. You've got a boyfriend. I doubt it. I am strictly about having fun. So you're just using him for sex? <laughs> you shameless hussy. I doubt it. It's too nice for that. Nice? That sounds a bit boring. What is he done in the sand? No, no, that is all fantastic. In fact, he's pretty fantastic all round. He even loves his mum. Isaac Worthington, the player. Maybe he's a nice player. Right, so he's smart and good looking and nice and totally into you. Yeah, I can really see why you're keeping this one casual. I don't want a relationship and I definitely don't want to fall in love. Not even with the most perfect man in the world? The last most perfect man in the world left me for my mother did. Do we really have to talk about this though? You don't get to decide when the right one comes along, Tans. 
That's all decided up there somewhere. And taking into account the amount of frogs you have been through, oh, Ta, you're about due for a prince. Just saying. I've decided I would like to come around and get the rest of my gear. The kitchen things, a few recipe books, you know, clean broom. Yeah, sure. Uh, what's good for you? Uh, I was thinking this afternoon, around about three-ish. OK, um, sure. Um, see you then. You made that easy. Thank you. There's something I need to say to you. Well, fine. Get it over with, because I'm busy. Can we sit down? Please. I should have gone to the gig with you. What does it matter? You're hot, you're cold, you're always with Gerald. I get it. You're just not that into me. Did I ever say that? Well, no, you never say anything about us. Most of the time, I'm just guessing. OK, well, I'm saying it now. I like you. I really like you. But? There are no buts. I'm just really super obsessed with the play right now. And if you'd ever stood up in front of a whole heap of people and completely forgotten your lines, you'd totally understand why. I totally get that you've got rehearsals to go to. You do? Yeah, of course I do. But if you could make some time for me too. Of course I can. For real? Daniel is way more important than Ernest. So you'll only have to practice with Gerald at rehearsals? I didn't say that. We're in great. We're back to where we started. You are unbelievable. Oh, Lauren. Lauren, don't walk away. Good morning. Good morning. Do you have a minute to talk? Talk or listen? OK, I probably deserve that. Before you start, I think it's probably best I leave. Well, that's a bit drastic. I'm sure there's enough room in the house for both our egos. Uh, actually, let's not leave Harry out of that equation. Not just the house, the hospital too. Oh, come on, Isaac. We had a stupid run-in. I know you probably think I'm being hard on you, but you deliberately ignored my... I know. I was a naughty little registrar. Fine, I can wear that from my HOD, but I don't need you telling me how to run my private life as well. You're my cousin, that's all. My family. You hardly know me. My own father wouldn't be as critical as you. I'm sorry. My father's concerned it's probably a case of monkey see, monkey do. Time to break that particular cycle, perhaps. Will you think about staying if I get down from my pulpit? I could think about it. Uh, yep, hold on. He's uh, right here. Chris, there's a major MBA on the way. ED need you down there. You up for it? As in do something other than hernias. Why not? Okay, okay, what next? Let's just think about it. We all await your instructions, Dr. Worthington. Perhaps you'd care to enlighten us. The stomach's herniated into the chest. Is it strangulated? Yes. I'm going to try and release it and restore blood supply. Suction, the back reforcer, please. Have you done this before? Not specifically. Then perhaps the wisest course of action would be calling for your consultant. Mm, so far, so good. More suction, please. Gently does it. Hello. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll just ask. Isaac, Chris is all done. Do you want him in here? I have to admit, this could be tricky. There's a great likelihood you'll be pushed beyond your capabilities. The patient shouldn't suffer for that. You know what, Luke, you're probably right. Tell Chris yes, I'd appreciate his supervision. Youth finally bows to experience. <laughs> Plant, please. Actors, assemble, please. I'll start with Jack and Gwendolyn. Like we're on. In character, darling, in character. Act two, please, after Merriman's exit. That's not Jack and Gwendolyn. I'm sorry, I thought I heard someone question me. Surely I must be mistaken. Merriman's exit. It's not me and Jill. It starts with Merriman and Cicely, and then Merriman exits, and it's Cicely and Elgin. And here I was thinking I was directing this pitifully inept group of acts! Ben wasn't being rude, and he's right about the scene. See, Dad, it's here. Merman exits, then it's me, then Algernon... Twitter, exits. Twitter, Twitter. There is far too much noise. Will someone please tell me where on earth we're at? Perhaps we should take five. Oh. Talk about artistic temperament. Daddy's definitely having an off day. Something's got him wound up. 
He's never usually this grumpy. Well, against all odds, it appears that Jack does know his text after all. See? Not just a pretty face. Shall we start? Not before somebody gets me a pill. My head's splitting. Yvonne, be a dear. We're never going to get up there at this rate. We've got to get back to work. You're not the only one. <sighs> this means more extracurricular rehearsals. Your place or mine? Actually, I can't tonight. Are you sure? Lord knows we need it. No, I have plans with Daniel tonight if he still wants to hang out with me. <sighs> Only if you still want to hang out with me. Chris, it's good to see you. Ruptured diaphragm, I understand. How are we doing? Isaac's made good progress. The stomach was herniated to the chest, but he's managed to free that and restore blood supply. So, should I be impressed or terrified? You've done this before, I take it. Actually, this is my first time. May I? Very nice work. Have you checked the rest of the abdomen for bleeding? Yes, I've tied up a moderate retroperitoneal bleed and I've controlled a small laceration in the spleen without having to do a splenectomy. Excellent. Right then, since I'm serviced to requirements here, I think I'll grab a coffee. As you were. Uh, this potato rice is yours. Ah, oh, yes. All that silken mash I never made. Actually, there's a uh, box of stuff from the sleep out too, that uh, Dennis says Auntie gave us. You keep it. And, um... Yeah, that strawberry halo, that's yours. Yep, I know what's mine. Just leave this to me, TK. I'll sort it faster on my own. Oh, you sure? Whoa! <sighs> well, I haven't seen this for a while. At one point we had more linguine than we knew what to do with. <sighs> Remember the Italian classes? We never did make it to Italy, did we? Nah. Uh, you take it. Oh, I can't really see Maxwell making noodles, can you? Yeah, maybe not. There you are, right on cue. <laughs> Makes a pleasant change, apparently. Are you ready? I say, what a day. I uh, thought I'd buy us takeaways for dinner. Good idea. The last thing I want to do is cook. I feel like helping with my lines instead. You planned this all along. Go on, give a talentless loser a break. I might. I might even improvise. You have to admit, they are certainly happy. Must be a little bit gross for you, though. No, not so much anymore. Wow, goes to show you can get used to pretty much anything if it's in your face for long enough. Speaking of which, how's Warner Jr.? I'm seeing him tonight. That is three nights in a row now. You have so got a boyfriend. No, I haven't, and nor do I want one. Hey, you're really here. I said I would be, didn't I? Oh, well, let's get home. Well, it's empty. Let's get a DVD on the way. Oh, I thought we could maybe, you know, just hang out in my room. Doing what, exactly? Well, doing the things people do when they like each other. That's what I thought you wanted, too. Yeah, of course I do. But not at a million miles an hour. <laughs> a million? But isn't that stuff part of us, you know, taking things to the next level? That's right. But can we work on some other parts first, like choosing a DVD and even watching it? And there's some chocolate in there for Marcel's mum. How come? To say thank you for having me. Hello, we're just leaving. Harry's got a sleepover. Is she staying here again? That's none of our business. I was just asking. Before I forget, Louise rang. She said to tell you that Abby um, Dutton or Drummond is getting married this Saturday. Driscoll. Oh, is that a fact? Do you want to see my robot? Come on, we're late. Uh, maybe next time. Do you fancy a rosé? There's a nice one in the fridge. So, who's this Abby Driscoll and why she got you all tense? No blame. Kind of. Another notch on the Worthington belt, eh? What did you do? Love her and leave her? Actually, she dumped me at Christmas. Is a safe here too, if you prefer? No, Rosie's fine. Christmas, eh? How long did you go out for? Four years. Four years? Oh, I'm um, sorry. That must have been pretty full on for you. Yeah, but I'm over it. I'm going up to my room now. You will join me in precisely two minutes. Because? Oh, that would be telling. I'll see you soon.
you really. Two whole minutes, I got bored. What have we here? Just a little picnic I threw together. Uh, oh, champagne, caviar. Is that bagua? Do you prefer cold bangers and a hard boiled egg? Uh, I suppose this will do. To Tanya Jeffries, who I'm loving getting to know and looking forward to knowing better. To picnics. Not to Isaac, man of my dreams. I'm disappointed. I think you're fantastic. And the sexes. Oh, is that all I am to you? A decent shade? Uh, no. Isaac, I, I was under the impression that this was just about having fun. Tanya, I could really fall for you. Right, um, well, that pretty much does it. If I've left anything, just feel free to check it out. Even this? Oh, OK, then. Joint custody, I'll have it. Weekends and holidays. Tactful is still my middle name. This is weird, isn't it? Uh, it's not what I call fun. No, but we did have fun, didn't we? Yeah, we had lots of that. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry too. <clears throat> Surprise. Brooke. I uh, got your message. You sounded so lonesome that I, I thought I'd better come home. Hi, Sarah. Hi. Um, well, you should have called. I would have picked you up. I didn't spoil the surprise. I'm just here picking up the last of my stuff, but I'm going now with my box. So thank you, TK. I'll catch up with you at work. Yeah, it'll be good to have you back on deck. Um, sorry. That's uh, okay. How's your mum? Much better, thanks. Don't I get a hug? <laughs> I'll be quiet without you here. I'm really glad you're back. Yeah, me too. Ella McSweeney looks at what lessons have been learned from the horsemeat scandal when the series of Ear to the Ground continues tonight at 8.30 here on One. Stay with us now, though, for Doctors on the way after the break.